Yo, 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 YouTubers, what's up? It's your boy here, Callum, aka Resign, and today you guys do not understand how long I have wanted to make a video on this game. So, basically, guys, this game is called Summon as well, as you can tell by the screen. Um, and it's quite a big game, it's quite a big phone game. They've just had the World Championship, actually. And um, I've decided to finally figure out a way on how to make some videos on this game. So, let me explain it. There's units that you can summon into the game. Um, you can grind for the game. Uh, there's runes that you can add into the game. And a lot of the people that will be watching this video already know about the game. And let me explain. For the people that are just coming into the game and don't know actually about the game, um, it's basically a grinding PvE, PvP type game where you can just have fun. And I've always wanted to do like a playthrough, like a new beginning on it, because I struggled when I first began. I still struggle now, I'm not nowhere near the best. In honesty, I'm terrible. Um, I just have very good luck. So, this is basically my first go at this. Um, I am on the Asia server, as this account has one on the global and the Europe server. Um... Oh, can't spell. Um, if you guys are wondering how I'm recording this, I can do a video on that. Um, I'm actually playing on my phone, not on my PC. Um, but it is on my PC. That is how I'm recording. Um, but if you guys do want to know how to do this, um, I will let you know. Um, I am on iOS. If you guys didn't want to know that. I am just skipping all of this bit for now. Because this is just Elena, and she's going to be explaining the tutorial. So again, as I explained, you summon units into the game. And the first units that you summon are always going to be the same. Um, you summon a Hellhound, uh, a Fairy. And then you do your first mission, you get an uh, Unknown Scroll, and you summon a Wind Vagabond. They like to give you the free um, actual units <coughs> that you like three types of units there's wind fire and water there's also light and dark units um where you can just um like they're different types of units obviously they won't give you one of them they are not more powerful in a sense but a lot more rare and um if you are looking to complete a game like completing collect them all game like a pokemon game this is not the game because truth is you're unless you're putting in 10 trillion pound you're not getting everyone in this game. And then they're explaining the runes. As I explained, different runes do different types of things. Energy runes, if you get two of them, it increases your HP by 15%. Uh, there are runes such as Violent, where if you get four of them, um, you can have, I believe it's a 35% chance, although that could have been lowered. Um, I do not know, can't remember to attack again. I believe it's 35% chance. Um, and yeah, you can also feed monsters into other monsters. So as you just saw there, I fed a mushroom into a hellhound. Uh, they do place that mushroom in your inventory or monster units. Um, so do not worry. And the big thing of this game is PVP. Do not worry about PVP if you are starting new um, because genuinely it's just not the smartest thing. Um, I like to play this kind of smart. Um, yeah, because basically, once you level up, it replenishes your energy. And I don't like to collect all my items because uh, they give you XP. And at this level, it's literally like hardly anything to level up. It. It's a bit, I'm going to do this mission and probably like get a level. That's maybe an over exaggeration, but you get the gist. It's quite easy to level up. Um, and I believe once you get to level 3, yep, you have the auto function. Now, this is why I love this game. Uh, not because you can auto, because again, that does kill a lot of games. But because you can do, like, the auto does help quite a lot. And uh, I'm just going to go to a channel where. No, do you know what? This will be my channel. 6897. Because I don't like a lot of people chatting all the time. And 
Yeah, see, I did level up. And energy maxes it out, and then it increases it by one. So, I'm going to be basically doing this. The most simplest things in the game, where I can just help you guys if you are starting new. And if you guys do want to see some live streams on this game, feel free to ask because I can do that. Um, if you guys want to see other types of things within this game, just leave comments down below. Um, again, I don't know how this is actually going to go because it's just, a, it's just a chance for me to open up into a different type of game. This is a phone game. I've never actually done a phone game on my channel, so I am really looking forward to that. And a lot of the things within this game is the units wise. Um, you do need to focus on what you're actually going to be getting. I'm going to go back real quick. And okay, so you need to clear the first floor of most things. Actually, this is a really good time. This is a really good time. So we need to get to Kabir runes. And to do that, again, you just need to go through all of these missions. Um, that, that bit is quite simple. I'm going to just be smart here. And I'm going to add some mentors. I'm just looking at the good units here. Um, easy ones to clear. Like fast clearing. Not even the most fast clearing. Just efficient and good clearing. Um, again, if you are new to this game, you won't know a lot of the units. Um, but I do know some of the units. And... We're just going to run it like this for now. Because this game does give you a lot of stuff um, within it. I'm actually going to collect this because it only gives 50 XP. And I'm actually going to summon. Hey, no lightning. Now, lightning is an indication of you getting... If you're summoning an unknown scroll or a 3 star. If it's a mystical scroll, it's a 4 star to 5 star. Um... Again, it varies. Um, five stars are extremely rare. Um, if you do get them, you are very lucky, especially at like the beginning of the game. If you get a good one, it can just carry, like heavily carry. Um, it is very beneficial to get them. Although I don't believe I'm gonna be so lucky. And I'm free to play. So unless I come into a load of money, I'm going to stay free to play. So you guys don't have to worry about me summoning loads of them. Unless the luck on this account is just insane. Which I admit I'm semi-lucky. I mean today on my main account I summoned uh, natural 5 star. Uh, nat 5. And I'm finally level 3. So boom. Now we can auto. And I can talk to you guys while it's autos. Um, yeah. So there are just certain things in this game that you just do um, because it's like it's not a need but it's extremely helpful if you do follow it in this way um, like when you're trying to let's say complete a stage um, in this says Keros Dungeons you unlock that level 8 uh, and there's stuff like giants and dragons in there where it's a lot more high leveled than these clearly like, I'm doing these and I'm not actually doing anything. It's just simple run through of the game. And, yeah, there are certain things like they'll give you a unit, uh, like Shannon. Oh, I didn't mean to replay that. What a bot. Um, there are certain units like Shannon, uh, which is a natural two star. Um, and it does increase your attack and your defense. And it also does an area, like, so it's going to attack everyone, and it's going to slow them down. Um, and yeah, that's just a really cool unit that's not needed, but it is helpful really early game. Like, imagine doing this level, and my fairy had increased attack. It would have actually killed that unit then, and that would have sped it up a little bit. And really, if you are focusing on PvE side, you are focusing on speed. Uh, so you're going to need units such as Verde Hill. Um, Verde Hill did actually come up on the screen. Uh, that red vampire looking guy. Uh, he's a really cool unit. Um, very good for speed. Oh, 
And I got a free start in Yugami. They are actually really rare. Like, to get a free star farmable unit. By farmable, I mean if you do go to this and you go to drop info, you can see there's an in Yugami there. That is actually quite rare for me to get. But I'm going to use that instead of my Wind Vagabond because I don't like the Wind Vagabond. He's kind of a useless unit. And right now, I'm just looking to level up. I'm looking to start speed running through this. Um, this first episode, I am going to keep it to about 30 minutes. Um, again, I don't want to overdo this. And yeah, I, I know you guys don't want to stick around for an insane amount of time when you could be doing much better things. But I, I just feel like I've wanted to do this game for so long and I'm finally doing it. Uh, I'm not actually going to care. Like, I'm going to care what the people think, obviously, because if it's hated, then I'm going to have to rethink and I'm going to have to go over some stuff. Um, I'm just going to quickly slap some of these on just for the um, actual percentage it's going to give, not because they're any good. And the boss. After this, I do get a three star unit. It's um, the light Elven Ranger, I believe. Um, it's quite a good unit, actually, um, early game. It's not the worst for, for attack. It's quite good actually. Um, and yeah, it has a leader skill. I believe it's a 15% um, speed. I want to say speed. And um, yeah, so for me, this game it has really, really, really cool like certain aspects in it, uh, like the animations. They're working on the storyline. It's not the best storyline of all time. Um, I mean, it's a free game. Uh, they say free. They mean spend money on the game, please. Um, big help. And yeah, we beat that boss. I do believe they actually nerfed a lot of these bosses. Oh, wow. We got four unknown scorers. I didn't expect that. Um, and yeah, they introduced characters like after certain missions. Um, you start to build up your like amount of characters that you know and what they do for you like this person um, like Anna I believe she is one that usually introduces you to a new stage um, yeah see oh a gift has arrived I mean I didn't need to know where and yeah I recommend not using all your energy at once everywhere because it is not the most helpful thing. I'm just going to quickly summon these um, just in case I get lightning. If not, no. But I am going to do this and power these up. That took all of my mana. But I increased the level. And I know there was something there like the same question mark, but that's just the arena. I played this game and restarted this game more than enough to um, actually know that. But um, yeah, there's that. Uh, as you saw in my gift box, I had loads of energy. Uh, I don't like to collect that as, again, leveling up gives you energy. Um, I do recommend not collecting it ASAP because it will end up getting in the way. Not getting in the way. but it's just a waste of energy when you could have easily had more and energy is very valuable in this game uh, you come to learn that later on in the game as we've all learned it's a pain in the backside to have to replenish energy it's only 30 crystals to max out your energy and I believe you can get a maximum of 90 energy once you're on the max level when you max out something that you can buy in the shop um, then it goes up to 90 so you're spending 30 crystals and getting 90 energy which it is quite a good trade to be honest um, although I do like to just save the energy early game as they've really like increased early game and they've helped a lot of people advance in this game really quickly like if you watch Sean B um, he's a really good youtuber He's completed some missions that I struggle to complete even now. 
on my account where I've had for a year and I've had an account that I had for five years. He has an account for 15 days and he's completed something that I didn't complete in a year. And again, I haven't been playing actively. He's definitely been playing that actively. Um, but yeah, it's like a free to play account that he has and he's completed it all in 15 days, which to me is insane. Uh, big respect to him. But they've really increased that early game, like, activity play. And I feel like that is a big part of why more people play this game now. Um, just because, like, they've helped early game players advance. Because there is a lot of PvE to get through. And if you are just a normal person that just wants to play a PvE, you would be thinking, oh, everyone's already ahead of me. That is honestly what a lot of people tend to think uh, when it comes to this game everyone's already ahead of me and is there a point in me playing this game um truth is yeah because after you have completed that pve everyone's going to want to move on to pvp because you want to show that all that grinding isn't for nothing not that it is for nothing ever but you do want to show that and to show that you do tend to have to like play pvp and actually go against other people so you can test each other and see where you've ranked next to someone again that person could be playing for 15,000 days or 1,500 days so i didn't even mean to say that or that guy could be playing for a month and beat you it varies um not really on the luck wise for that because pvp heavily relies on your runes and that means you grind and again if you do watch other youtubers that do this game you know they don't stop talking about how much they grind <laughs> honestly they will say and like they're only saying it so that you can realize that this game is not a hard game but it's not an easy game oh i didn't mean to get that notification I didn't mean to get the notification. The smart thing to say. Very smart thing to say. If it does come again, I will mute that chat. Uh, that is my Twitter chat going off. Highly sorry about that. Uh, let me just mute this for one hour. Sorry about that. Yeah, they don't stop talking about grinding, which is understandable because a lot of people that start playing this game say, oh wow, I have luck with summoning, but I don't have luck with rune drops and it's not actually luck with rune drops because truth is i know this from experience i literally have grinded for like a solid seven days straight and gotten one rune that i'm going to use in the future and it is crushing because you're like eh, you probably do keep if you did grind for seven days like straight like obviously not straight but with the energy wise and yeah then you probably do keep about 12 runes obviously this is more late ish game uh, mid game you're going to be keeping probably about 30 and early game keep the ones that can possibly help in any way <laughs> and yeah so you people say it's just good luck it's really not you get probably about one good usable rune every like 20 days to be honest that's a good usable rune um so i i just ha highly doubt that people will just get lucky rune drops of course there is a luck aspect in it and yeah you could get 30 in one day highly unlikely but possible and that unit that i've just got there is a natural four star and it's actually an amazing natural four star a lot of people use it even like not late game but midish to late game as it is a really good unit to be honest um very very good unit i use it on my account um Mostly because it has its self-healing aspect and it's just a really cool unit. Uh, 
that is why I like to use it. Uh, if you guys just saw what I did, I put on a fatal set, which is attack plus 35%. Um, with a unit like this, it is an attack unit. It does set next to the level, um, as Fairy would be support. He's a defense unit, although... Huh. Okay. I didn't actually know he was a defense, but it does make kind of sense. Hmm. Oh, double up gift. Collect 30. Yeah. One thing I'm going to say, I will be using crystals for summoning. Um, early game, that is. Again, late game, I probably won't. But until I feel like I'm transferring to midish game, where I'm doing TOA hard and stuff like that until then i'm not really gonna be caring too much Damn. okay and kabir runes now this is where we'll get our first easy energy set um again it just helps and this unit comes with a good leader skill um attack for all units for 25 percent um I'm just going to start leveling up the Elven Ranger, as I'm probably going to be using that more than the Hellhound. Um, the Fire Hellhound is okay. Uh, he's not the best, but he's usable. He, um, I believe once he gets awakened, he gets this attack and crit rate increase. Um, but other than that, he's not amazing. And we're basically going to be relying on Lapis, or the Water Magic Knight, as you guys just saw me get quite heavily um, early game but obviously later on in the game I probably will be building like the water version of that because Tark is actually a pretty cool like unit really strong unit helps increase speed uh, on dungeons runs and stuff like that and yeah so it's just certain units I will be building later on in the game that you will see me literally get rid of without even thinking because I'm not going to be using that. Um, yeah, so just moving like from that. If I do summon in that 5 early game, I will try not to use it heavily. Um, because I, again, I do want the people to be able to be like, oh, okay, I can work with this unit. I have a unit that can do the same to that. Like, if I do get a Shannon, or sorry, if I do get a Megum, I will prof like I would rather use that over the Shannon because it does the same thing, but it increases my attack bar by twenty percent um, for everyone, and just stuff like that. I would be using that you guys could possibly be like, okay, my Shannon could fill in there, and so I don't want to like get let's just say uh, Water Dragon and be able to freeze everything and then you guys not being able to be like okay I can do that okay so I just exited out of that on purpose so that I could collect well not collect uh, I could go through these rewards um, so basically explaining these rewards as I said and I tried to click on earlier these are just very helpful very very helpful things um, level 15 with an attack type unit so I'll probably get Lapis to level 15. Uh, that'll probably be my first attack unit. Oh, unless I get him. Might use him in the next two missions then. Yep. And this will just increase the gameplay. Um, like speed wise. Because it will give you units. Um, I don't believe it's that one specifically that gives you units. Um, but they give you like essences to awaken units. So... If I did awaken my Lapis, it becomes a bit more powerful. Or if I chose to awaken someone else, they could possibly unlock a new skill or gain something by like 15 in speed, possibly. None of these units do, I believe. I believe the Fairy increases in resistance and unlocks a skill. Not even increases in resistance, just unlocks a skill. Um, yeah, and I believe that everyone else is just the same really they just get whatever they get and keep it like that um 
some units again increase in speed some units increase in defense like percentage no they don't at all they never do but resistance and crit rate and it's just stuff like that that do play a part in this game um everything plays a part in this game really like for PvE, the only thing I could really recommend is controlling attack bars. Uh, Lapis does this really well, actually. Um, that skill increase, decreases their attack bar by 25% and gives it to you. Not gives it to you. Gives you a certain amount of attack bar. Which is actually really, really good. I would have much rather had an unknown scroll there. But, yeah. It, it just helps out a lot. And just certain stuff can build you up if you are controlling their attack bar they can't really do too much against you um, they don't really get turns and then you do build up damage and they end up dying pretty quick um, yeah and this episode is actually at 25 minutes at this moment in time I will be ending this, uh, I'll try to end this at 30 minutes, but I'm probably going to be like, if you do compare me to another, like, Summoner's War YouTuber, probably be like Jubeagle. I can make a 10 minute video into a 4 hour video without a fail. I can live stream for like 16 hours straight and not feel a damn thing, except from needing my bed. Am I ready to summon? Nope. I want to go here and collect. Does it give? Uh, it goes sense to your inbox, which is good. Uh, I have already done fatal, and I can do blade. Uh, for fatal, I'm just going to quickly go to. Haven't got a one star. Oh, it's free. That's really helpful, actually. Do that. And then blade. Just going to go simple. Do crit damage and that. So yeah, I'm just going to work my way through these simple, easy things for now. Instead of actually doing the missions, because I can do that off camera. And I can actually grind up a bit and do more things. Uh, power up a theta room three times. Okay, that's pretty simple actually. Uh, yeah, this game... If you do compare it to the old videos, it sh the game has changed a lot and it is just, they built on it and it is really, really cool seeing how this game has came from something, well from not nothing, but from what it was to now, like, damn, I remember thinking, oh wow, I wish I could target the mini boss without me clicking on it, now it's there and I can do that. And what I just got are angel mons. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's quite cool. I'm going to actually use them angel mons. Um, no, I'm not. I haven't collected them. I may as well collect the mana because that's not going to go anywhere. And um, yeah, this is just helpful for leveling up, to be honest. Um, should I just feed them all into one? Nah. Yeah, these are just helpful for leveling up. And uh, I will get a mystical scroll. I know I shouldn't really feed them into them specifically. But I'm going to because I am me and I don't care. Um, I want to go for this mystical scroll. So I'm just going to quickly run some of this and I will be doing that summer. Um, yeah, while talking to you guys about what my goal is for this my goal isn't to do a sean b and complete the whole game within 15 days uh not really the whole game but a big amount of game within 15 days and expect you guys to be able to do that because a lot of people that do play this game casually have jobs and have school and just do not have that unlimited time aspect and I don't expect you guys to have that. Again, no one really has that. I have to do my things. You have to do your things. Um, oh, brilliant. Got you on my first run. Wait, where? Get two three-star energy rooms. 
Oh, so I need to run it again, basically. And hope that I get another rune. Um, so yeah, I I have to do my things and you have to do your things. And again, making that 15 day type, it's just impossible. Like, I, I want to make this uh, not too long. And obviously I want to advance into like mid game and other things like that. And obviously create a community around what I'm doing also. That I do love doing that. Um, that is my goal really. And that's what I want to do for this. That is what I'm going to do for this. So hopefully I do get the mystical scroll on this drop. Because again I don't want this going too far over the 30 minute limit. Um, not that it's a limit. Um, but I, I just... No, I didn't. I'm just going to keep running the next stage and the next stage and the next stage. And yeah. So I just saw me place this on hard. There are three difficulties for every actual place that you go to and do the missions. It's easy, hard, hell mode. Um, again, they are quite easy to run. They are actually very easy to run, all of them. As you can tell, I've not changed any of my units really. I've gained some levels, but that is about it. And I can run them pretty like easy without doing anything massive. And to me, that's a win. You are going to see a lot of Asian text in the chat, um, which is a shame because I am on the Asia server. But I like the Asia server, to be honest. Um, and if you guys do have an Asia server account, and I did end up making a guild, um, then feel free to join. Okay, three star unit. Perfect. I'm going to get a three star unit from this. Boom, boom. And mystical scrolls can give you four stars, five stars, and three star units. You do usually get uh, three star units, but big summon session, boys. Four unknown scrolls and one mystical scroll. I personally like to, once I have one scroll or two scrolls, I like to wait until I get a really good feeling and then summon. Because I don't know, it works for me. Uh, on my account where I've played for like a year, I have four and at fives that I've summoned. Uh, one of them's a light dark unit, which is like 0.035% chance. And I just had a feeling when I summoned it. And yeah, it's, it's time, it's time. No lightning, but three stars helped me early game. And I got a Mav. This unit is a beast. You have to love this guy. He's an actual beast of a unit. Uh, I'm gonna summon this now, just to speed it up. Mav, Mav's a good unit. Not so much like early-ish type game, but mid-ish, well not even mid-ish, early game, yeah. But he's used for specific stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like and peace out.